done. Dawson and I just got finished uh, uh, doing the uh, Blog Talk Radio. It's a 30-minute show, and it's called The Set Apart Life with uh, Mama Cheryl's Opinions. And uh, it was a great show. What it is, last night I did it, well, after almost a year of not doing it on this channel, because it was like December 23rd, 2013, when I did the first mm. one. So last night I decided to do, you know, my opinions about what's going on in the Middle East, you know, Hamas shooting rockets in Israel and how when Israel retaliates, how everybody want to call Israel the bad guy. And also about ISIS, who are now called the Islamic State, how they're committing genocide all across the Middle East. Also, I discuss living in community. And tonight's show was a continuation of that show, you know, that topic. That was the main topic, uh, living in community, and how people should start making plans to do that. Because when the economy crashes, when the stuff hits the fan, um, you can't be out there by yourself. It's going to be too dangerous for anybody to be living by themselves. Because you might say, oh, my family, I'm going to take care of my family. We're going to store up food. Well, if it's just you and your family, there are going to be people breaking into your house, taking your stuff, and they might even kill you in the process. So you're, there is safety in numbers. Okay. So what do you think, Dawson? I, I Well, shalom, everyone. <laughs> um, but I truly think that, well, it's been obvious, especially in, in the past few weeks, that y'all has been telling people to move the cities. Now it's time to kind of push out. Uh, it may sound kind of sad and stuff, but it's Alba's will, not ours. Yes. It's, it's his will, not ours. So it's time to get out and start thinking about these things. As we were talking about tonight, uh, even for the people that like to prepare last minute, it, set up a go bag and set up an emergency plan for your family to go and find a community, go and be with something. So that way, when this stuff's coming, when it's right there, when Abba says go, you're ready to go. That's, it's a now time to move and get out. Yes. Even I know this, and I'm young, where my generation, they don't want to hear this stuff. They like plug their ears and la 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 la, none of this is happening. But it's really this prevalent that we need to get ready and go. And Abba's will. Yes. And a good Scenarios this is uh, in Germany in the 1930s and 40s when the Jewish people got word that they should leave because of what Hitler was doing. They didn't want to believe him, believe that he was going to do anything till it was too late. A lot of them said, we're out of here where a lot of them stayed. Also, let's go back to 70 AD when Titus burned down Jerusalem and the temple. He burned down the whole city. Those who remember what Yeshua said, he said, when you see these things happen, flee. So they were smart and they fled. They escaped with their lives. But everybody else who didn't, millions of them were slaughtered. You know, then you have the story about Masada, how they went up there on Masada, and then, but then they eventually ended up committing suicide. There were a few that got away to tell a story. But now, because people are having dreams. Dawson, tell us about... Some of the dreams people were having. Oh, um, let's see. I remember a friend of mine um, last week uh, talked about how oh, they were in this like prison or this camp type thing. So what happened was they're so they start running and they're trying to and they're trying to escape this place that they were trapped in. And so that person and a few of their friends um, they went and they went got to this gate. And so they're trying to talk to the gatekeeper, which was the statue, but it wasn't letting them through. And so what happens is, is the statue, it starts yelling at them in a demonic voice. And so she yells back and then they start talking. She's trying to talk her way out. It starts trying to yell at her again, back in that demonic voice again. And she just yells back and it shuts up. Then after a while, with talking to the statue, it finally lets them out to escape this prison. Then there's tons of other dreams of which we don't have enough time to yeah, tell all those people, all people that are all about the same thing. They're trapped in this place. Is something bad about that happen? And they and then they have to start running to to try and get out for the, to save their lives. Yes. And I and I know some people that 
are having these dreams, but they're just not going to sit there and do nothing. Yeah. But they will say, oh, it's a strange prophetic vision and all that stuff. But, but they won't take the warning. Right, right. Because like, no, like I said, people are, here, pe people, they are, they are addicted to stuff. And they don't want to leave their stuff. Well, I'd rather get rid of my stuff for the lives of my family to save my family. For those, you know, well, now you have those who don't, might not want to get out of the cities. They want to stay here. There's nothing I can do about that. So Mother. those who want to leave, then, you know, hey, sell your stuff. Sell, I'll, I'll get rid of what I don't need. You know, cause, because when you live in a community, you don't need a lot of stuff anyway. You know, you don't. You really, really don't. <laughs> so, you, you take what you need and you go. You know, if you find, first you find you somewhere to go. You connect with the community somewhere out there. If you're not connected with one, already find one. If you don't want to do that and you have money to buy property, then start one. But we all need to look out for one another and when, because when this time comes, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Yeah. Oh, and um, one more thing. If, if you got, if any of you guys are having these dreams too, of which when you have these dreams, you will know that you're having them. I've had a few myself. If you know that these, th if you know you're having these dreams, please post them in the comments and share about them. We'd love to hear about them. We want to hear, and y'all speaking to his people. So let let's all hear. Yes. Okay, with that, we're just going to say shalom. And for all my family, all my mishpachah that keeps our father Shabbat, Shabbat shalom to you. Shabbat shalom. And have a restful day. Shalom. Shalom. Well, y'all, after this delicious dinner prepared by son-in-law David, it was really good. We had... Burritos, vegan burritos. We had potatoes in them, which were good. Look out, Shannon. He on your back, girl. Then look out. Then, but we had vegan. This is vegan meat. This is, isn't really meat, but it was pretty good. And this, we had some black beans, which was good. And uh, I had some foodie sour cream. And let me get over here. Delia cheddar cheese shreds. Okay, now, oh, wait a minute. Got to show the guacamole. Guacamole. Okay, now Dawson is getting ready to fix a ginger beer float. Yep, I have a bottle of um, Reed's ginger beer. Delicious. Can I see the top? Reed's? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, focus, they, focus. they used to call it ginger beer, but I believe they, have, they had a change in the labeling, if I'm not mistaken. And they call it ginger... Uh, premium, premium... Ginger ale. Yeah, good stuff. I love it. Well, ginger ale is not ginger beer. I know, but they changed it to premium something, and then they also had, like, normal ginger ale right next to it. Right. It tastes exactly the same as ginger beer. Right. So... Okay. Yeah, well, it's I'm like gonna... a stronger uh, ginger ale. Yeah, I would taste it, but you're putting ice cream in there. Yeah. I'm not eating that ice cream. You know what I think of that. <laughs> so I just watch you make it and watch you enjoy it. Oh, but your pop got some uh, vegan something in the freezer. Is there any more left in there? He got me some vegan cookies. Ooh. Yeah, everything tastes better when you add ginger beer to it. Yeah. Eating pie, ginger beer, eating ice cream, ginger beer. And my favorite part about not having a float is when it gets all foamy on the top. Oh, just like a regular root beer float, huh? Mm -hmm. Except for some reason, it has a lot of extra foam. Does that with a root beer float too? Yeah, but it's like root beer float. Once you get to like right about there, it will start to foam up to the top. It's about was right there once it got up to the top. <laughs> but it's better than soba so soda because they don't add carbonation to it. At yeah. least not the way I do it. 
but it's uh, got a natural carbonation. Yep, just add mm. yeast and let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, and mix its mm. own. Okay, so Ginger beer float better the, than root beer floats. All right. So.